Hi, Sandra Lemming here from sandralemming.info. Uh, just doing a quick video, uh, trying to help an, a, a few people out um, who are just starting out in learning how to do business online and how to market online. Okay, so you've just logged into your Facebook and you have a page that you've set up, a Facebook page. Mine will obviously look a lot different to yours because I've been on Facebook for many, many years and I've been online, um, you know, building businesses and stuff for, for quite some time now, since 2012. So you just logged in. These up here, this is where somebody sent you a, a, a request to become your friend. This is your messages and this is your notifications. Um, if you want to know what notifications are, that's just to alert you as to what's been going on on Facebook since you, you were last logged in, okay? Uh, but today we want to talk more about pages and business pages. As you can see, I have you know one business page um, info thing happening here. That's one of my main pages. But let's just say you created a page and you want to change the page you know you've made a mistake in in making the name of the page or you know you want to change some info about the page okay to, to do that with a page you need to be on the page as an administrator so you can either go down um, you can either scroll down through Facebook to pages uh, down below here if you haven't saved it in your favorites here or you can just type the page in up here in your search or you can click on this arrow here and your page will come up under here okay or you can manage pages here click on manage pages here and that will come up that'll bring up a little section if you have a lot of pages where you, where you can create a page um, you can manage your pages you can choose your page so let's just say you have a page and you, you want to edit it so you can click on edit here and you, you can add that to favorites and that way you can find it easily because it'll come down under here you can put it under your newsfeed here but to go to the page go just click on the page now there's two ways you can do this okay Say you want to change out your header banner. You don't like your header banner. And this is just a page that I play with to do videos with, okay? So you don't like the cover photo, okay? Or you don't like some writing here that you've written about your cover photo. We'll start there, okay? Say you have a description here. You can edit that description by clicking here. And that will edit the description. So say you've written something about this particular banner. You can click on edit and that will open the description up here and you can fix that and then when you've done editing you can click done editing okay so that's how you change the description that you've put with your banner and that's pretty much how you change the description that you've put with every photo if you want to add things or you feel you've made a mistake or you want to rewrite it you click on the photo and bring it up as a separate um, section inside of your page here and you click on edit and you go into editing you edit it and then you click done editing okay so that's how you edit the writing that goes with your header banners your profile pictures and your pictures on facebook okay now if you click on this button here this will give you options down here you can have a look at those as well okay now if you want to do any more editing in here you can um, go in, you, you can click on page, you can click on activity, you can click on settings. Okay, but what I like to do, here see, you can click here and you can upload a new profile picture. Okay, you, you should be able to do the same with your header, but it's not doing it as myself. So what I will do is I will go to my page as myself. I like to actually go to my page as an administrator. So I'm going to find that page in here. Here I am. Now, as you can see, I'm using this page as Sandra, myself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the page as the page. So I'm going to click on here. And now, as you can see, I'm using the page as the page. Just 
to about a minute to finish loading. Now, as you can see, the header, if I wanted to change out the header, as you can see, there's a little camera up here. See, change cover, just like there is down here. Upload a new profile picture. So if I wanted to change out the header, I would click on that, change cover, and you can choose from photos. You can choose to upload a new photo. You can reposition it, or you can remove it. So choose one of those. When you choose from photos, that's choosing from your page's photos, any photos you have on your page that you know, were old banners or new banners that you may have uploaded. So that's, that's where that will come from. Upload a photo will upload a photo from your own computer. So when you click on that, it will ask you to go into your computer, basically. There you go, see it opens up your computer for you. And you can click on your picture folders and you can choose one of your folders. If you have a picture in there, you may want to put a new banner up. Um, and you know, scroll through your pictures. Once you're, you know, happy with a picture, you know you can click on that. I'll open up that. I'll have a look at some of the banners here that I have. Yeah, you might, you know, choose a new banner. And when you're happy with that, you know, with whatever banner you have, you know, it's got to be a specific size for Facebook. Okay, and JPEG or above, as far as banners go, you know, that's the same banner there, see? And click, and you click open, and then you'll be able to reposition it. See, and, and you see the little hand, you can drag it to reposition it. If you want but my, mine is the right size so I don't need to drag and reposition it and you can save the changes okay that's how you do that now as for other relevant information um, you know your about section you can click on that and you can make you can have a look at it you know this is what people will see when they come here okay um, and you can make some changes in there. So in your about section, if you want to write some more, um, you can click on edit and you'll be able to edit that section. Uh, you can edit that section as well there. You can add more contact details by clicking edit that section. It's as simple as doing that. That, that, that will fix your about section. If you go to your actual settings up the top here, up here you've got general settings. So you can go through these and you can edit these. If you don't want your page visible on Facebook, click on edit and you can unpublish your page. And if you click on the little question mark, it will give you a little bit of an explanation. You can click on learn more and find out more. So if you want to unpublish a page, you can click in that area there, okay? I don't want to unpublish it, so I'm just going to cancel it. Um, posting abilities, you can adjust all of that by clicking on edit. So all of these down here, just read through them, click on them, um, have a look at them. Um, you know, restrictions, if you want to put different restrictions on your page, if you're going to be showing content that's only suitable for, you know, 18 years and older, you may want to put an age restriction on your page because your know, Facebook can slap you pretty hard if you are showing, you know, adult content to, you know, minors at the age of 13, you know, 10, 12 and 13 and 14 and 15 years old. Um, you can set up a profanity filter. So just go through all of these, okay? If you want to delete your page, you can quite easily do so here. If you have, you know, several pages, you can merge pages here, okay? And as you can see down here, you have a whole list of things that you can have a look at. You know, you can go into suggested ed edits. You can go into page info here. If you click on that, a whole new lot of stuff. Here's your page name. You can edit your page name here. So you can request an, an edit. So if you didn't like your page name, you could change the page name right here. Just by clicking on that edit. And once you've, once you've you know, typed in your name here, you've just... Click in that box and highlight that and type your new name over it and then you would click save changes once once it was how you wanted it. So, you know, it's as simple as that to change the page name and, and Facebook will clear that for you. It might take a little bit. 
so you, you can uh, I'm going to cancel that because I want to change the name of the page this is my Facebook web address this is yeah this is the URL that I can share with people and it will bring them to my page um, you know I've listed myself in brands and category uh, brands and products under website so you can go in there and change that if you want see brands and products website and you can learn more there um, but I don't need to change that but there are plenty and make sure you make the right choice for yourself when you set up a page I always suggest to make sure that people set their page up as a website it's easier than choosing some of the others because some of these are very very specific so yeah I always get them to choose website but you can choose whatever you want I mean if you have a specific you know niche product you know if you're doing pet supplies or you know health and beauty you know you may want to do that with your page okay so for, for now I've just got that one set on websites you can change this information when you started you know you start info you can change that you can enter address I haven't entered an address yet um, and I should enter an address if I want to uh, promote the page which, which I don't really but there you go you click on that I can enter address details and all good so go down through there fill out what you need you'll need a phone number and there's your Facebook ID if you need the number ID um, enter the official brand you know so if you've made up a sub page of a, a, a specific brand so you know say you're into I don't know um, um, L'Oreal makeup or you know um, Old Spice aftershave and you're just an affiliate of the product and you're selling it um, you can link your page with your you know enter the official brand page you can you know edit, edit that in there um, you know you click over there and have a look but generally I just leave that blank there's really no need to to fill that in you can attach your website um, when you first set up your page or later on um, you know if later on you have a website you can come into here and you can click on there and you can add the website okay this website isn't up and running it was just a explanation if you know just to show you what you could do with a Facebook page so don't go to that website it's not functional okay so there you go there's some tips there um, click on the rest of these down here and have a look at them um, you know notifications you can set that up and change that around you know um, get notifications you can switch it off and whatever get email notifications page roles if you have you know people who are going to help you manage the page you can add them here so if I wanted to add somebody to this page to help me manage the page you know I, I can add them in here as an admin or I can add them as an editor a moderator an advertiser or an analyst okay so there you go that's what I can do there your apps you know that's pretty straightforward that will tell you what your apps are at the moment I've added an events tab and I've added the notes app now what that is and I'll go back to my page all this simply is is your your tabs and any third-party apps that you may have purchased okay So if you have a look uh, down the side here, you will see, it should show you this, um, I have scrolled past it, it will show you different things down the side here. You can also edit those by just going into them here, like this. See, edit, manage, same as your about, you can edit, manage, and that's where you'll see your about section to see what's written about your page. Is your photos uh, post a page by other people if you're going to allow other people to post to your page you don't have to okay so we'll go back to my page and your tabs your, your apps are just these things across here okay so if you click up here see how you have follow share because you can share your own page so once you've got your page set up and you're happy, you can click on that share um, button and you can share that page to, to um, people. So if you clicked on share, because I have quite a lot, I've been on Facebook for quite a long time, I have several options for sharing this page. So I can click on share and I can just share it. You know, I can just share the page. 
me so I, I, I can share this page on my page I can make that share um, you know public or I can stick a location with it and limit the audience okay that's as an administrator now if I was on this page as Sandra Lemming and I clicked on this I would have a lot more choices if I clicked here I could share it with a specific friend just on that friends page I could click up here because it would say on your timeline so I could share it on my timeline or I could choose groups and things the best way to learn how to do this guys is to play around with these things and have a look okay now back to the apps that I was talking about in these settings if you click here um, okay it's not showing it there click on here here we go manage tabs okay so if you click on manage tabs when you're first setting up your page here are your tabs so there's about so I, I can I can click on these and drag and, and so I can yeah I can click on these so I can put likes there I can grab this and I can put videos there um, you can add and remove tabs so I can click on tabs and add and remove tabs. In here, I can add the events tab. I can add the um, notes tab. So if I wanted to add the notes tab, we'll click on that. Okay, now I've added that and I'll show you what that looks like on the page. I'll go back to the page. Okay, and as you can see, I, I moved these two around. So if I click here and I manage tabs, and I'm going to change all of this. I'm going to put likes. So I'm going to put likes before photos. Okay. I've got notes and videos. So I'm going to take videos up to there. And I'm going to put notes up to there. And I'm going to save that. And there, as you can see, we've got likes, we've got about, likes, videos, and more. So when somebody's visiting your page and they click on more, and I will just log out of my page as an administrator and go back to myself, and I'll show you what I mean. Hopefully I can find this page. I don't do a lot on this page, but we'll see if we can find it. taking a bit to load today but you know sometimes I have slow days with the internet can't be helped I do apologize I'm going to whilst I'm on Facebook as Sandra I'm going to there it is there's my page there one likes So there you go, I'm going to visit my page as myself. I'm visiting my page as, as Sandra. I'm looking at the page, here we go. And if I scroll through this page, if I click on here, I can see notes, I can see photos. So there's two extra tabs I can see in the drop down here. Your normal visitors who have, who have got nothing to do with your page, who aren't admins or anything, won't be able to see this. It'll just show the extra tabs that aren't showing here. So if I wanted to have a look at the notes, if I was a visitor to your page and I clicked on here and see notes, I could click on that and have a look at your notes, okay? Um, and if I scroll down to the side, this is what I'd see as a visitor to your page. I'd see no one's made a post yet. You know, I can see the about section. I can invite some of my friends, okay? So there you go, and I can, you know, I can share this page if I wish. I can, you know, I can click on here. Um, and I can save this link or I can share. So if I clicked on here, this is what I wanted to, I was talking to you about earlier on. I click on this. See, now I can choose to share it on a friend's timeline, in a group, or on a page I manage, or in a private message. I can make it public or I can make it specific. Friends only, more options. Click on more options. I can, you know, only me, customize it. 
you know, so share it to a specific circle that I have on Facebook. You know, all these are, are, are different people that I've made friends with on Facebook and I put them into different categories. Okay, so um, that's what you can do with that. Once you've chosen what you want to do there, then you can click on share page. Okay, but we're going to can cancel that. And, um, and I think that's as much as I need to show you for now. So um, I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, my name's Sandra Lemming. I live in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Um, you can visit my website on uh, sandralemming.info. Um, you can look me up on Facebook here. Uh, just type in my name. I'm sure you'll find me. I'm also on Google+. Plus. Um, if you have any more questions, shoot me a question. And if you want me to do a video to answer that question, also let me know that. And if I can possibly get, get a video out to you, I will. So have a great day. Bye for now.